All right, but that's the way the system is. The system is not designed around rehabilitation, reformation, reintegration, as they say they are. The system is built around money. We do not make money if we do not have prisoners. So let's do everything we can to get more prisoners. This is a symptom of the systematic nullification of the basic rights that we are supposed to be able to enjoy. Freedom of speech, right to assemble, things of this nature. However, once again, you're tagged as a gang member. That means any assembly, any concert, any family get-together, any kickback or hangout where there's more than one of you there, can be viewed as a gang gathering. Which means, and it will vary from state to state, from county to county, but it basically it means that if the police decide to raid you, everybody there is completely and utterly fucked. That's just the way it is. Alright? I'm an outsider. I'm a bystander. But the fact of the matter is, I know what it's like to be a hated minority. I know what it's like to be part of a group where the vast majority of the rest of the country thinks you're a monster. You're an abomination. Alright? So, it's not that I don't understand. It's not that I have a stake in this. The fact of the matter is that when the outgroups are being victimized, oftentimes they'll curl in on themselves. When an LGBT alliance gets shut down, or uh, a gay person is beaten or killed or denied basic rights, and their community speaks up for them, their numbers are limited. Do you have any idea the kind of backlash that would happen if this, these two women can't get married, these two guys can't adopt a child? Do you not realize how much more of an impact it would have if not only the gay and lesbian community stood up, but the atheist community, juggalos, the potheads, anybody, just the other outgroups all stood together simply on the fact that they are being denied their basic rights that they are guaranteed by law to have, by the Constitution to have, and they're being denied these rights. Don't just ignore it as if it's not your problem, because this isn't my problem. I choose to make it my problem because not only is there a huge number of people involved, it's a huge number of innocent people. And the fact of the matter is, somebody has to stand up and say, this is what you guys are doing wrong, this is how to make it better, this is how to improve the quality of your lives and how to do what needs to be done in order to guarantee that you have these rights. No, no one person can stand alone. No man is an island. No one group is of sufficient size to enforce what they believe is right on any other except the people at large. And the fact of the matter is, you need the people at large. You want people to back you up? You want people to help and get involved and say this is wrong, this shouldn't be this way? You don't just need entertainers like the ICP standing in your corner. You don't just need money. You need popular opinion. Next time there's a rally for gay rights, show up and support. You can run signs and say, it may not be for me, but they have the same rights that I do. Next time there's an issue with birth control or an abortion bombing or, you know, some something, anything having to do with a minority's rights, not even a physical minority like myself, but a minority in, in any way. They're not part of the majority religion. They're not part of the majority demographic. Stand up. Make your voice heard. Do it in a nonviolent way, but make it understood that you are here, and even though it's not your fight, you will take up and you will help and you will support these people because they're your fellow human being. And I guarantee you, the amount of support that you can get, the amount of positive light and PR that you can get, you don't even understand the half of it. It's moments like these that make groups the villains or the victors, that make a movement a fight for rights and for peace or a rebel uprising and violent outbursts and riots. The world we live in is a world. It's not just our country, our state, our county, our town. Everything is interconnected. And if you can get the voice and the opinions of the people, not just the people around you, but people that have never met you, people you will never meet, simply on the fact that you are fighting for what is right, 
for what it's just, I guarantee you your odds of victory will go up much higher than they otherwise would. But to be honest, you, all of you, know that there are enough members of the Juggalos and the Juggalettes that have done enough things, that have done violent things, heinous actions, terrible things. It's not that the moniker is undeserved, but it's not deserved by the entire group. The minority does not speak for the majority. However, when the majority remains silent, what is the only voice heard? You need to understand this. If one amongst you does something violent, does something illegal, does something criminal, you have to acknowledge this and say, they, these people, this person, does not represent us as a whole. And you have to be able, ready, willing, and capable of demonstrating that that's not the way all of you are. So you have to remember something, and this is very important. You are who you associate with, and you are exactly, in the eyes of the people, what they see. It doesn't matter if you have an LLM or a PhD. If you've got the hatchet man around your neck, you're a juggalo. Make them see that it's not just a bunch of people in clown makeup trying to rip off Kiss and Guar or trying to, you know, reinstate the perfect world of Ronald McDonald and His Holiness. Make people understand that you're people too. You're not just the face that you show. However, you do need to improve the face that you show. You need to improve how the world sees you. And the easiest way to do that is the basics. If you want legitimacy and you want to be taken seriously, you need an education. You need people to understand that you're not just a bunch of ignorant potheads. You're actual individuals. You're educated, intelligent, capable individuals, and you deserve the rights that everybody else has. Don't stand there and scream fuck the police. The police can arrest you for that. Especially now. You're tagged. They can arrest you and incarcerate you for that. Don't just stand there and say, oh, I have rights, I have this, I have that. Learn your rights. Learn what your basic rights are. What the First Amendment is. What the Bill of Rights are. Understand what these rights are and what they're not. Because by doing that, you can actually put up a feasible defense. But by also by learning and understanding, you can also ensure that others amongst you learn and understand. You can't just put up some third grade level, half-ass typewritten message to the FBI and it's